Assalamu alaikum YouTube viewers. The topic of today's video is measurement of radioactivity. So in this video, I'm going to explain how you can measure the radioactivity. Okay. So now radioactivity. What is activity? Decaying of a radioactive material in unit time is called activity. Means how much of a radioactive material is decaying in unit time. So this process is known as activity. Okay. So moving on. What is the unit for the radioactivity? The unit for the radioactivity is Curie. Okay. The unit for radioactivity is Curie and which is defined as the amount of any radioactive material okay amount of radioactive material which gives 3.7 into 10 is power 10 disintegrations per second okay so curie is actually the amount of the material that gives 3.7 into 10 is power 10 disintegrations per second okay so the disintegration per second is abbreviated as dps okay and 1 gram of radium 226 undergoes 3.70 into 10 is power 10 disintegration per second so as I've just told you earlier that Curie is actually the amount of the substance, amount of the radioactive material that gives this number of disintegrations. So if I talk about radium, the 1 gram of radium 226 gives 3.70 into 10 power 10 disintegrations in a second. Okay. So in practice, in practice, activities are expressed in terms of mega curies, curies, millicuries and micro curies. So moving on. These are the units. 1 Curie is actually equal to 3.7 into 10 to the power 10 dps. And if I talk about radium 226, 1 gram of radium 226 give such number of disintegrations. Okay. So 1 millicurie is actually equal to this and 1 micro curie is actually equal to this. And moving on, the SI unit of radioactivity is Becquerel. Okay. The SI unit of radioactivity is Becquerel, which is defined as the activity due to 1 disintegration per second. So I can say that 1 Becquerel is equal to 1 disintegration per second. Okay. 1 Becquerel is equal to 1 disintegration per second. Okay. So now what I have here is the specific activity. What is specific activity? The activity of a radioactive material per unit mass. Okay. So, first of all, what was activity? The activity was the amount of radioactive material that was decaying in unit time. And what is specific activity? Specific activity is, the, is actually the activity of a radioactive material per unit mass. Okay, activity per unit mass is known as its specific activity. So, it is measured in counts per second or counts per minute. And moving on, it is a measure of relative abundance. So, using the specific activity, we can measure the relative abundance of radioisotope because the radioisotopes usually occur in mixture with stable isotopes. Moving on, the detection and measurement of radioactivity of any sample is based on the detection, identification, measurement of radiation emitted by the sample. So moving on, there are three different methods for the measurement of the radioactivity and these three methods are the photographic method, the gas ionization method and the scintillation method. So in this video, the focus of today's video is about photographic method and the next two methods will be explained in the upcoming videos. Okay, so photographic method. Photographic method, talking about the photographic method, detection of radiation by photographic method is known as autoradiography. Okay, what is um, photographic method? The detection of radiation by using the photographic method is known as autoradiography and autograph radiography is actually a photochemical process and it was once used by Becquerel in 1896 for the discovery in the discovery of the radioactivity. Okay, so now what have, what do we do in photographic method? In photographic method, in this method, ionizing radiation interacts with silver halide in photographic emulsion. Okay, so first of all, you need to know what is photographic emulsion and what do we do here? So first of all, if we have a material, okay, if, if we have a photographic film, let's just say that this is a photographic film, okay, and on the surface of it is the photographic emulsion, okay, and the surface of this photographic film is the photographic emulsion. This yellow line, these, this, this yellow material is actually the photographic emulsion and the red material below it is actually the photographic film, okay. So, this photographic emulsion, this yellowish photographic emulsion contains the silver halide. Okay. This contains the silver halide. Okay. So what happens? So if I have a material, let's just say that this is my radioactive material. Okay. This radioactive material will emit some radiations. Okay. This radioactive material will emit some radiation. These radiations will fall on this photographic emulsion. Okay. So what happens when the radiations coming from this radioactive material falls on this photographic emulsion, what happens? some black areas are produced on the surface of this photographic emulsion okay on the surface of this photographic emulsion so these blackened areas constitute a self portrait of the activity of the material okay so 
द नंबर ऑफ द ब्लैक एंड एरियाज एंड द डेप्थ ऑफ द ब्लैक एंड एरियाज टेल्स अस हाउ मच द मटीरियल इज अंडर गोइंग द डिस इंटीग्रेशन ओके एज यू नो वेन द मटीरियल अंडर गो डिस इंटीग्रेशन इट रिलीज इज द रेडिएशन एंड दीज रेडिएशन वेन इंटरेक्ट विद द फोटोग्राफिक मल्शन विल प्रोड्यूस ब्लैक एंड एरियाज and the intensity of the blackening at a given place will be the function of exposure time okay the exposure time and the amount of activity okay the intensity of this blackened area will be directly proportional will be directly related to the amount to the time of the exposure and to the amount of the activity of our given sample so the method of auto radiography is particularly suitable when the distribution of radioactive compound in biological material is to be studied so now in this slide i am going to explain the importance for photographic method so photographic method is actually used when the distribution of radioactive compound in biological material is to be studied and moving on however precautions should be taken that there is no chemical or pressure effect of the material on the material okay so if we have some chemical or pressure effect on the photographic emulsion the image that is formed the black and areas that are formed will be disturbed okay so we need to take the precaution that there is no pressure or chemical effect on our given photographic emulsion okay because this will disturb the image of the photography this will disturb the image of the black and areas okay so auto radiography is frequently applied to the determination of the components of paper or thin layer chromatogram but detection of the radiation on a quantitative basis by this method is difficult and tedious okay so that was the photographic method so moving on towards the gas analysis method this method will be explained in the next video so do not forget to like the video and subscribe the channel thank you and allah hafiz